my name's Claire and this is Stitch Him So thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Now today's video is a Friday Sews video and this is episode 12. If this is your first time visiting me today thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much to the little flurry of new subscribers I've had. It's so You're so very very welcome and a massive thank you to all of you that have been subscribed for a while and keep coming back video after video. I appreciate every single one of you. Please do keep those likes and comments and subscribes coming along. I really enjoy interacting with you in the comments. I try to answer every single um, one of you. If you do ever find that I haven't replied, I do apologise. As I say, I do try to reply to every single one of you. But just occasionally, they will say I've got a comment and then there isn't anything there. So if it is a case that I haven't answered you, I do apologise, but do try again and I promise I will try and re reply to you. So if you do like today's video, please do give me a like and if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you'd consider doing so. So first off, I think I'm just gonna start with what I'm wearing. I always forget to do this at the beginning of a video and uh, I do sometimes get asked about what I'm wearing. This is the make I made for my so um, so sorry, my so yellow for endo in March. Um, and it is the Chelsea Raglan tea by the Fabrics store. It's a free pattern. There's loads of patterns over um, on that particular website. They tend to specialize in linen, so all of their fabric, all their patterns, are designed for uh, for linen fabric but obviously you don't have to do so this is made in a viscose fabric and I picked this up from the lovely Jess at so much more who's based in Tavistock in Devon I haven't been to Jess's shop in person as yet because it's not particularly local to me uh, but at some point I'd love to get back down to Devon and uh, visit the shop so at some point Jess I will come and see you now on to what I've been up to over the last week. If I'm honest, not a massive amount of sewing. After March, I don't know about you guys, but there was quite a lot going on in March in terms of sort of sewing. I did quite a lot of sewing and I just took a few days of not really doing any sewing. I have been quite busy at work and I just fancied a few days of not sewing, which is quite unusual for me, but sometimes we all need a little break from it. But don't worry, I have done a bit of sewing and I will be showing that to you. I also had an evening out with one of my friends. Um, we don't often get to kind of catch up that often. And so it was lovely. We met sort of halfway between our houses and went to the pub for the evening. Neither of us were drinking because we were both driving, but it was just so lovely just to be um, out, you know, socialising and just catching up and putting the world to rights and things. So that was lovely. So, of course, that was another evening of not sewing. But as I say, I have made a couple of things and I've also sort of been planning some other um, makes for this upcoming week, hopefully, as well. So, yeah, still thinking about sewing, if not always sewing. So the first thing I sewed up, I spoke about last week, the fact that I, my husband has been talking to me, well, going on at me really, <laughs> about the fact that he wants me to sew some covers for his games consoles. I've made a few in the past, but it was probably about a year ago since I last made some, and I've been promising that I would do some. So I said to him, look, I will definitely make this one, one this month, and he said, I believe it when I see it. So I was like, right. I shall rise to the challenge and I've made one and so I feel like I fulfilled my obligation for the month and maybe I'll make another one maybe I won't but I'll certainly try and do one a month until I get through these have thing, these wretched things so um, I'm just gonna fly over this this is just uh, a really quick make it's just sort of a boxed um, cover just to cover up one of his consoles and uh, yes I've risen to his challenge which I'm sure he provoked me into by saying that I wouldn't do it and I've done it so yay for me. Now the next couple of makes are uh, the same as each other they are some little uh, drawstring makeup bags and I, I talked about in my video for my inspiration and plans video for Selfless Sew April 22 
that I want to just sew up uh, these makeup bags. Now I've put the cord in one but I haven't managed to put the cord in this one yet. So this is them sort of as they are flat, got a nice sort of lining fabric. You use um, like a bias fold over, once over fold bias um, fabric. Uh, so rather than it, you know, sort of fold and fold again, it's just sort of fold in half, but cut on the bias so it fits nicely round on the curve. Um, the pattern that I used was just a YouTube video, and the only, which I'll link obviously everything in the description box below. Now the only difference I did was the um, video itself suggests to use little um, Velcro like hook and eye type. Um, things little spot things that you put on here but what I've done is I've just used these little magnetic clasp things on there because I just think that's a little sort of neater nicer finish so that's the one that I haven't yet put the cord in and this one uh, has got the, the cord in to pull it up and then you just pull it open and you would have all your makeup and bits in there and you can have it kind of lying really flat uh, so that you can see everything that's inside and then just a case of pulling it up together pulling it shut and um, putting The flat back over obviously I haven't done that quite as neatly as I had shown you before But they come together really easy. The tutorial is great really easy to follow along with and um one of these is going to be sent off to one of my friends and probably need to get that sorted tomorrow actually because it's her birthday in the next few days and obviously I've just got some goodies to go inside it and then another one is actually for the friend that I saw the other day. Uh, I don't need to worry about the fact that they will find out about because they don't actually know about my YouTube channel because <laughs> I don't know I feel a little bit funny it's like I can talk to people that I don't know and it doesn't really bother me <laughs> uh, in terms of I can talk to you guys about what I make but I'm still quite coy about talking to sort of friends and family about it I'll get better at that um yeah I need to get better at sort of telling people <laughs> so those were the only things that I actually sewed up this week but I have cut out um, a pattern that I'm going to make for my husband which is the Ellie and Mac straight fit raglan top I think it's called I'm going to pop a picture in of the um, the top here and my plan is to use this fabric here so I haven't cut the fabric out but I've I've downloaded the PDF and I've cut out the pattern you know decide on the size and cut out the pattern so I just need to cut out the fabric and get that sewn up and the idea is that the sleeves the raglan sleeves it'll just be a short sleeve t-shirt will be in this one so looking forward to doing that one I'm also hoping to sew up a top for my younger son and I haven't got the fabric just bear with me a second so I showed this fabric last week it's this really cute gorgeous little otter design with these um, like is that a life boy that sounds about right doesn't it and uh, I think that I'm gonna either show up a t-shirt and some leggings if I've got enough to use as like pajamas or I might just make kind of a lightweight hoodie uh, that you can use as a, sort of an extra layer in the summer months uh, when you know it does get still can be a little bit chilly at times even over the summer in England so in the UK so yeah we always need a jumper even in the summer. So I mentioned earlier about Selfless Sew so April 22. Now that's a challenge that's being run by Crystal who is my social thread and Adele from Sofa Serenity. The idea is that you sew something for somebody other than yourself. It could be a family member, it could be friends, it could be a pet. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be 
garments, it could be an accessory, you could be sewing for charity and just not for yourself basically and you post your makes on Instagram on the 30th of April using that hashtag selfless so April 22 tag in both Adele and Crystal Adele my so uh, so for serenity and Crystal my social thread pop on there who your makes for where in the world you're from just to help them organizing of prizes etc and um obviously just put the details of what what you've made what pattern you've used etc because that's always useful for other people now in terms of prizes there's a huge number of prizes i'm led to believe i, I believe there's about 50 sponsors and more than sort of 50 prizes so that's amazing and they've you know they've really got some of the some big names in terms of sponsors so they've done really well with uh Beg, borrowing and stealing in terms of um, getting people on board for that so well done to them and there are going to be several categories in which you can sort of um, the prizes will be uh, decided on and then some prizes will just be based on a sort of random draw so the idea is that there'll be kind of first second third for the different categories and which will allow sort of people th that are um, you know th that have made some really beautiful makes to be really acknowledged for their makes and but also there'll be a number of prizes that are just drawn kind of random using a random number generator so hopefully something for everybody and you know lots of people will be in a chance of winning a lovely prize so definitely worth taking part in if you haven't already done so and if you want any sort of more details do check out crystals and adele's pages and i'm going to pop all the details along on the screen as well and also check out their youtube videos as well they'll be posting lots of updates on both instagram and youtube in terms of prizes and interviews with some of the uh, with some of the sponsors etc so do check out both their instagrams and their youtube channels oh and the other thing that i should just say that if you've got any um photos that you want to show of your works in progress or any of your inspirations please use the hashtag so sorry selfless so april 22 whip which is for works in progress so that will just allow that the main hashtag selfless so april 22 just reserved for the 30th of april which will just help them to determine um the prize winners etc on the day and just keep that hashtag available for that purpose so a really as i say a really great challenge to take part in and um i really if you're looking for any ideas please check out my last video i'll link a card now and that will give you some ideas of things that I'm looking to sew up this month. I have set myself a bit of a tall challenge. I'm not expecting that I'll necessarily sew up all of them, but I'm going to give it a good go in terms of getting as many done as I can. Now, the other challenge that I'm looking to take part in is Sew April Blouse 22. Now, this has been run by Kristen from the Dahlia Society and Cloth Edit. And the idea is that you sew up a blouse in April. It can be any blouse, uh, it needs to be made out of woven fabric rather than knit. But other than that, I think that's basically the parameters of it. And you post your make between any time between now and the end of April. And uh, I believe that that one is a, uh, they will be picking the winners rather than it being a, a random uh, draw if you like but there are some really sort of good big prizes with that one so well worth checking out if you haven't already done so and again all the details will be in the description box below so with that challenge in mind because I hadn't really spoken about what I was going to do or any of the ideas in terms of fabric choice or anything now today I just happened to be in a fabric shop over my lunch break and I saw this gorgeous fabric this is a cotton lawn fabric now it's quite sheer sheer is that the right word 
it's not very opaque you can you can sort of see through it if I sort of hold that up to myself you can probably see my top through it um, so I think I will need to line it or do maybe have like a little cami underneath I'm possibly thinking in terms of cami underneath I'd like to try the uh, what's it called it's the new cat well not necessarily new but it's one that the sewing community has taken by storm over so frugal 22 the etty camisole i think it's called by tammy handmade i thought that would be really nice i'm not massively into wearing just a thin strapped um top by itself but i think it would be really lovely underneath another top particularly if i make that in a you know that top in a fairly sort of thinnish fabric so it will still be quite lightweight I haven't decided exactly on what pattern I want to make. I've got a metre and a half of this, so hopefully that would be enough to, to make it. I just thought it was really nice for summer. I really like um, the colours within it. Um, uh, and it's not something I would normally pick. I don't really normally go for a white base, but I was just drawn to it for the summertime. So I'm still yeah deciding on what pattern I'm going to make for that. I really like the Paddington top by Peppermint Magazine. I made a version of that for my So Frugal 22 and I really um, have enjoyed that top. And I'd like to make up some more or at least another one. So, so possibly I will make that one up. Um, the lovely Adam made a recommendation to me and it's gone out of my head. That's a beautiful um, pattern as well with a collar, uh, button up front. Um, but, you know, it's a it's not a Peter Pan collar because it's not sort of high up, but it's that sort of design, but kind of lower down. And I'm going to put a picture in and the name <laughs> on there because it's gone. It's gone from my mind. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking about a blouse for this one. I also really like the Anna Allian, Ad, I can't say it, can I? Put my teeth in. Um, the Anna Allen Anthea blouse that has also taken the sewing community by storm. And the Norma blouse, is that a seam work pattern? No, I don't think it is. Again, I'm going to have to put the details up on the screen. I'm sorry, being a bit rubbish today. <laughs> so, those are uh, that's what I'm sort of planning. Possibly not for this upcoming week, but definitely in the month of April. So, I think that's everything from me today. Uh, not too much content, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. But hopefully I'll have some more things to show you next week. So... I think I'm going to round up for today. I'm going to say goodbye. So if you do like what you've seen today, if you've enjoyed my waffle, sorry, it has been a bit waffly today, do give me a like. Drop me a comment about whether you're joining any of the challenges or what you're making at the moment. And until next week, I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching. Take care. Happy sewing. Bye bye.